This is Janae from the Itch to Stitch. In this video, I will share tips for quickly recoloring some of our multicolored fonts in free software from Embrilliance. Before I get started, one of the features that I will be demonstrating was included in a recent update. So if you check which version of Embrilliance you're running, if your build date is before January 1st, 2020, you will need to update your software to be able to use this feature. If you need to do so, go to the Embrilliance website, click the Downloads tab, and then choose your operating system. If you're on a Mac, you'll want to download this option. If you're on Windows, you'll want to download this option, and then follow the instructions to install the software. Again, you download the full package because the full package updates the existing version, and this is what you want to download if you are running in express mode for free or if you own any of these Embrilliance products. I'm currently running Embrilliance in Express Mode, which is the free portion of the software that allows you to create and save text designs from installed BX fonts. To get started, I will click the A button to create a lettering object. In the dialog box, I'm gonna type the name Carson, hit enter, and then from the font selection box, I will choose our newest font, which is called True Colors. Uh, it's available in seven sizes, and for this, I'm going to choose the two-inch size. And you'll see it is, in fact, a two-color font. The letters are one color, and then the dots are a second color. When I click on the Color tab here, we'll see that it alternates, so it's going to do a letter and then its dots, then the next letter and its dots, and so forth. The default colors for this are fresh green and sky blue. But let's say Carson is really girly and she wants pink and purple. If I left click a color block, the thread dialog box pops up and I can choose pink for the letter C. And if I left click the sky blue and choose purple, then it changes the dots from blue to purple. Now I could continue to proceed letter by letter, do the A and then its dots, the R and its dots. But actually there is a new feature um, that makes this really, really fast. If you right click this fresh green square and select change color on page, now when the dialog box pops up, if I choose a pink thread, it changes every object that was that fresh green color to this deep rose color, just like that. So I'll do it again for the dots. If I right click sky blue, change color on page, and scroll down to this magenta color, just like that, all the colors can be changed. This technique works for all of our two color fonts. So let's try Only Hope Filled. I'll choose the 2.5 inch size. Okay, this font includes a fill stitch section that comes first before the satin stitch lettering. And let's say for the fill stitch, I want red for all of those. So I would just select red and a light blue for all the satin stitch. So again, right click, change color on page, and we'll scroll down to a light blue. See how fast that is? Um, let's try. Our bean stitch font, Lego House, two color bean. Maybe for this one, Carson wants to use uh, team colors for this. So uh, maybe for the inner bean stitch line, a green. And for the outline bean stitch, uh, an orange. So maybe her school colors are orange and green. All right, so just like that, you can quickly change all the thread colors within a lettering object. One project that I stitched with our new True Colors font is this Happy Easter Pillow. Let me show you how I recolored this. All right, first of all, I've got the words typed using the three inch size and it fills my eight by 12 hoop. I wanted a green like the green grass for all the lettering. So I right click, change color on page and choose um, mint green. But in this case, I didn't want all the dots to be the same color. I wanted each letter's dots to be something different. If I left click this color block for the H, I chose pink. 
then I could come down here for the A. The A is my second letter. Left click that and choose yellow. The problem with this technique is that, let me expand this. We have lots of blue and green alternating. It's gonna be hard to tell which letter I'm clicking on. So a different way of changing the thread colors is select the lettering object and then click the green square inside of a letter. Let's see, I wanna leave this one blue. So let's look at this P. If I click that green square, it highlights just that letter. And then over here in the color options, it only shows me the colors for the selected object. So now I know exactly what I'm working on when I click this and select, um, let's go with an orange color. Same thing for the Y, I wanted this one to be purple. All right, E, I wanna leave blue. A, I wanted to change to orange. Now one of the options you can have here is like, oh, now which orange did I pick? I can't see it. If I change my view to palette, it will show me what is on my current page. And so then I know I'm choosing the exact same orange thread. Uh, I'll choose purple for S and pink for T. And again, I'm just left clicking on all of these. And just like that, I've got it colored the way that I want. So I can save this and take it to my machine to stitch out. One other project I want to look at, let's say I wanna do Merry Christmas in red and green. So again, right click and choose um, red. And right click, change on page green. What if I wanted it to be the other way around? Green with red dots. So maybe I wanna change this red, change color on page, and I select that emerald green. Whoop! because I chose the same thread color that the dots had already been changed to, now everything has been changed to the same color and I've lost my ability to change the dots to red. So let's undo that. It's gonna be better to go back to the beginning and change this to green. And then select the dots as red. Right. If I wanted Mary to be red and green and Christmas to be green and red, the easiest way to do that is with two separate lettering objects. So let me delete the word Christmas and click set. I'll move that up here, create a new lettering object for Christmas. And now on the color tab, we'll make the lettering all red. And the dots all green. If you're using Embrilliance and Express Mode for free, that's how it's going to save it. It's gonna stitch each letter from left to right. So green, red dots, green, red dots, green, red dots, etc. It's going to be tedious at the machine to stitch out, especially if you have a single needle machine. Let me offer a quick tip for those of you that own Essentials. One of the features of Embrilliance Essentials is color sort. Let me show you how that works, starting with that original Carson file. I go up to utility and select color sort, a dialog box will pop up and it tells me that the design page has been reduced by 10 color changes. All right, if I click new view, it's going to open a new page where Carson is now no longer a lettering object, but it has undergone a color sort where all the lettering is stitched first and then all the dots are stitched second. So let's go back to the originally, if I watch this in Stitch Simulator, it's going to stitch the C and then the dots and the A and then its dots and so forth. That's going to be a lot of thread changes. All right, but if I switch over to my color sorted design and watch this stitch out, we'll see that it's gonna go directly from the C to the A. Let me just scroll across here quickly if I can grab that finish up the rest of the lettering, and then it's gonna do the dots from left to right, okay? So that means it's just two thread changes at your machine 
instead of 11 thread changes. Similarly, let's look at Happy Easter. Again, as is, it's going to stitch each letter uh, in completion from left to right. But if I were to do a color sort, it's reduced this by 16 color changes. If I click New View, we'll see that it's going to do all the lettering. It's combined the pink letter dots into a stop, and then the yellow, the blue, the orange, and the purple. So that would save a lot of time. For Merry Christmas, if we do a color sort, it's reduced it by 24 thread changes. Let's click New View to see what it's going to do. In this case, it's actually three color stops, and let's talk about why that is. Let's watch this in Stitch Simulator. It's going to stitch all the letters for Mary, and then it's going to jump to the dots, and the red lettering for Christmas, and then stitch the green dots for Christmas last. Okay, why doesn't it do the green dots at the beginning with the green letters? And that's because you want the dots to be stitched last. They are supposed to go on top instead of underneath. If we were to manually, um, let's go, let's exit this. If I were to manually rearrange them myself and slide these up here, so that it's gonna stitch all the green first and then red. Let's take a look at it. If we zoom in, it's not gonna look as good because the letters are stitching on top of the dots instead of, um, let me undo that, instead of stitching on top. So that color, sm color sort is smart. It's going to make sure that the layering stays the way you intend. Thank you for watching. Please check our other videos for more helpful tips.